can find a fighter But I see it in you So we gon' walk it out And I'll rise up, rise like the day I'll rise up, rise unafraid I'll rise up, and I'll do it a thousand times again And I'll rise up, high like the waves I'll rise up, spot of the ache I'll rise up, and I'll do it a thousand Times again for you. Okay, we are a little sorry. Yeah, quite ready yet. So we'll do one more song. Mm -hmm. Younger. I won't have to worry anymore. The first song on the leaflet. Don't have my burdens are heavy And the road is rough and long Sometimes my feet grow weary And so slow But a brighter day I come in Soon I step on heaven's shore I want to have to 
Alexander. They're not quite ready. Something is uh, wrong. So we will just call on Sister Molina Charles. Molina Charles. Down there we say goodbye to our loved ones Through all the pain, it's so hard to be strong
to bring tears to our eyes Won't be broken, won't be broken anymore There will be no goodbyes to bring tears Daisy. Making a list of all the good things that you've done for me. Lord, I've never been one to complain. But right now, I'm lost and find my way. my heart it helps to know your heart is breaking too when i cry you cry when i hurt you hurt when i've lost someone it takes a piece of you too when i fall on my There's never been a time in my life There's so much at stake There's so much to lose But I trust it to you You'll see me through And it helps me to know that I'm not alone When I cry when I hurt, you hurt When I've lost someone It takes a piece of you too When I fall on my face You fill me with praise For nothing breaks your heart Or tears you apart Like when I cry
Like when I cry The next song will be done by Vanaya Sinais. And after which, after Vanaya will be Simeon Augustine. Okay. They are coming as a duet. I love you, Lord, for oh, your mercy never fail me. All my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up till I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness. As a friend, and I have lived in the goodness of God. All my life, you have been faithful, and all my Oh, I will see 
Him will be, I won't have to worry. Please stand. <laughs> Don't hear my burdens are heavy. And the road is rough and long Sometimes my feet was weary And so slow But a brighter day a coming Soon I'll step on heaven's shore Goodbye. I'll 
not see my Savior standing at the door. I'll hear him say, you welcome. All my days you left behind. And you won't have to worry. to one and all it's a strong comforting song we won't have to worry anymore and it answers in the same chorus where it says our eyes will be on Jesus I welcome one and all to be here with us today this afternoon it is not a very good occasion but I thank you for making it your duty and your time to come with your loved ones and friends and families to gain strength where everyone need in the time of need. So I thank you for coming and I welcome everyone to be at this service today. Our heads are bowed, our eyes are closed as we petition our Father in heaven. Father in heaven, we give you thanks and praise for who you are. You are God and there is none like you. You said that there is no mountain too tall that you can climb. And for so, dear God, we come in your presence not for the best occasion but for some reason all of us have to follow this same road and so God I present the family of brother Masley I pray that you allow your Holy Spirit to cover this place in full measure as your name being glorified and lifted up high 
I pray that you comfort this, the, the family at this moment, O oh God, Holy Spirit. That every one of us who are here today will know that God is truly a God of love. And as we go through this service, I pray that you will be with us today, O oh God. And may everyone here be strengthened. And not just be strengthened, but we all will have a joy in our hearts. Because we know this man who's laying in this coffin, lying in this coffin, has made everything right with you. And he's ready to meet you when you will come the second time. Oh God, may all of us who are here be ready also. So that one day, one of these good days, when you burst the sky, and the sky will open wide, that you will say, this is, we will say that this is our God we have long waited for. We are waiting for this day, O oh God, with anticipation. As we look up, may we continue to walk steadfastly and never give up. So I pray, O oh God, again, that you give us the strength as we go through this day. And bless us, I pray, in Jesus' name. Scripture reading is taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 down to 18. I'll read in your hearing. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again. Even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ will rise. Then we, which are alive, remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. The week now we're going to have the congregational song. Please stand with us as we do this song. Tempted and tried, we of me to warn the why it should be the
shall we remain in a posture of prayer? O oh God, our help in ages past. Our hope for years to come. Our shelter from the stormy blast. And our eternal home. Lord, at this special moment, we come bowing before you, Lord. We come before you with heavy hearts, oh Father. Lord, we know even if today, this afternoon, that our hearts are heavy, but we know, dear God, that we can find our comfort in you. There is no one like you, Jesus. Lord, you said in your words, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. And so this afternoon, oh God, I want to lift up the muscle family in your hands, oh God. Lord, their hearts are breaking, and my heart is breaking as well. But dear Father, we know that there is a bomb in Gilead. There is some place where somebody can go so that they can find their strength, rejuvenate back again. Lord, this moment I pray, oh God, that we'll pass through the fuse, oh God, and that you will touch them on the top of their back, oh God, and let them know that you have not left them. You are with them. You are crying with them. You are feeling it with them. And so they will find the rest at last. Father, I pray, oh God, that you will come divinely near them. If they have never felt you before, let them feel you now. For you have said you have been touched by the feeling of our infirmities. And so, Jesus, I know that you are there. I know you are by the side, oh God. And I pray, oh God, that you lift them up in the palms of your hands, oh God. Let them know that they are not alone. Let them know that you care. Let them know that if you can take care of the, of the eagles, if you can take care of the sparrow, remind them that you can take care of them this afternoon. Remember that... Let them remember that there is a shelter in the time of storm. You are still on the rescuing business. You are still on the comforting side. You are still with those who are mourning. You are still with those who are hurting. And we know, oh God, that you are with them this afternoon. Oh Lord, let them find courage, Lord. And even if their eyes may have tears, but their hearts is rejoicing because they know they will see their loved ones again. Until then, keep them true, O oh God. Keep them faithful, O oh God. Keep them um, rejuvenated in you, O oh God. Keep them, dear Lord, with the fire, with the flames of love, Burning amongst them, knowing their father, when Jesus is in the vessel, we can smile at the storm. We can smile at the storm. And so this moment I see, take courage, take strength, for you are not alone. The whole camp of heaven is with you. Find your strength in Jesus' name. At this time, we're going to have a special song by Vibert Smith. And afterwards, we're going to have the eulogy by um, Vernicia Thomas.
desires. My years have been many, my love ones are gone, and I'll miss them more every day. I'm ready to move to that heavenly home, and I yearn for the day I can say. Take this ring from my finger, the shoes from my feet. Take all of my worldly possessions away. Just give me my Bible, a date I must keep. It's homecoming in heaven for me I'll kiss my old mother shake hands with my dad for I know they'll remember the boy we'll all be so happy and I'll be so glad as our cup runneth over with joy. Take this ring from my finger, the shoes from my feet, take all of my worldly possessions away. Just give me my Bible, a date I must keep. It's homecoming in heaven for me. Arthur Masley, better known as Puidi Fe, Zampoul, was born on the 5th of February 1947 to the late Rona Masley and Frederick Masley in the community of Kaiko Millet. He was the oldest out of five siblings. Arthur grew up a young farmer cultivating bananas, dashin, yam, tanya, plantains, and every other vegetable. After the passing of his father at an early age of nine, he became the man of the house, taking care of his mom and the house. As he grew up in the community of Tetshime, he enjoyed his country and Western music. He imagined himself as one of the stars, singing as if it were him. Arthur enjoyed the company of friends and usually liked to hang around just to listen and laugh at the next joke. He enjoyed a good competition in country music dance, considering himself as the best and would point out who would be in second place. During his trips to the city of Castries, his eyes caught the attention of a good-looking young lady who he introduced himself to, whom couldn't resist his charms. She soon followed him to Tetshime, where they started their family. 
Later in 1976, a beautiful bouncing girl was born to them. Three years later, they tied the knot on August 9th, 1980. Afa was a kind soul who took everyone in. Never did he whisper to his wife, Kote se mun saakali. His house was anyone's house. He never took anything too serious, not even a quarrel. Throughout the years, you could only hear him hum his favorite country song. Dada, as most of us called him, was a biological father of one, but father to six other children. No one knew the difference he had. No favorite. Cora, her spoiled child, plays the part of favorite. And it seemed they played well. Dada went to church on special occasions. But mom prayed to God to get him to be in Christ. Dada had a near-death experience while he was visiting his daughter, Cora, in Martinique on December 24, 2012. The experience scared the entire family. Dada soon recovered from the grave illness and occasionally had to be admitted at the Victoria Hospital, causing family drama, thinking this was the end. Christ could have been heard by his wife at the hospital exclaiming, Corin uki teo chue afa. Afa was nicknamed Shatla by his daughter, stating he had nine lives. Dada never complained of anything. There were occasions where it had to be mom to tell him that he is not well. He needs to get some oxygen. He sometimes would be knowing if mom sees him ill, she would say it again. Dada never laid a hand on a child. There isn't a moment where any of his children would say, Dada, come in, run! Because he would not bother to get you sad. Like people would say, he doesn't know what it is like to beat a child. Dada was respected by everyone. No one could say that he was disrespectful. He was considered a charmer to the ladies. I wonder what he whispered to them. He was a man of very few words. Very few words. After thought, he was the best driver in Millet. When he was behind the wheel, there was a match, causing his wife always asking him to slow down. He would laugh and say, Gajalfe. Can't remember him in any accident. Guess he really was the best driver back then. Dada in 2020 became weaker. He had to struggle with his illness both day and night, with him being the victor. Once again, June 2021, Dada's family realized he wasn't his usual Mr. Chatla and had to be rushed to Victoria Hospital in the early morning of June 21st, awaiting an other victory. Then came a call of the sad news of his passing. Dada was loved by his entire family. The moments he spent with them are unforgettable. We won't forget you, Dada. You touched us. Wish there were few souls like you. To Corin, you both celebrated your birthdays together, sharing the same jokes. To Cora, the bonds can never be broken. To Bernice, a forever star boy. To Vibert, his George Jones. 
to Versha, her stepping on country, to Lauren, the father she never knew, to Miguel, his special George Jones, to his wife's family, he felt like a father, uncle, and brother. May his soul rest in eternal peace and rise with God on the resurrection morning. Uh, now we're going to have a special song by Simba Augustine and follows the tribute with um, Kitania Jean-Louis and Anastasia Jean-Louis. silence until you come and sit a while with me you raise me up so I can stand on mountains you raise me up to walk on stormy seas I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up so more than I can be. There is no life, no life without its hunger. Each restless heart beats so imperfectly. But when you come and I am filled with wonder, sometimes I think and glimpse eternity. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up. To walk on stormy seas I am strong When I am on your shoulders You raise me up To more than I can be You raise me up So I can stand on mountains you raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains you raise me up to walk on stormy seas i am strong when i am on your shoulders you raise me up to more than i can be you raise me up 
to more than I can be. Okay, this is a tribute by Jocelyn Piston from Martinique. Un jour, un grand homme assis en l'air en roche, bord la rivière. Un homme qui a médité à ce monde jeudi et qui a dit comme ça. Depuis mon fête, la pluie toujours tombée, soleil toujours levé, la ligne toujours clairée, vent toujours soufflé, tonnerre toujours roulé. La tête toujours tremblée, mon écou toujours tué ses pans, chien toujours à dans la djeu et puis chasse. Mais c'est l'homme toujours là, même les nous pas invité. A rien pas changé, mais pour tout le monde, je dis qu'à Dieu, mais pour tout le monde, je dis qu'à Dieu comme ça, on l'a mec à laver en lot, et dix l'a mec à laver en Fidji. Demain, même l'homme est là, qu'elle bosse toute Fidji, qu'on envie l'auto, qu'elle vive la casse. Après demain, Yo ka di ou, on nous marchait ensemble ensemble. L'île de même, pied à la ka chouté au devant la porte Kaeli, quand on maman bœuf le ou ka tirer l'aide bai si ou pas faire attention. Par contre, à soucier les autres pour dormir. C'est pas ça moun fait et puis ou qui est important, mais c'est ça ou fait et puis les autres qui est important. Ou peni belle parole, mais c'est manière ou ka vivre et puis les autres qui est important. Merci papi, merci en chai. Next tribute is Mary Christine from the church in Martinique. Adam la rel chimé la vie nous. Bon Dieu qui a mis tes des noms avec des femmes pour faire nous grandir. Pour ba nous force et puis courage. Adam la rel chimé la vie moi. Bon Dieu mis tes en homme, yo crié à femme aslin. En misé doubouts, en misé vertical, en mari qui te cante cante et puis madame li. En papa qui te ni en poule en pile en mou baish li. Ek an papi ki te ni, an pil respi ba tout moun. Adan la rel chime la vi mwen, man ede mi se maslen, men li osi ede mwen. Pa da vwe, i te toujou la epi mwen. Mem si i te las, malad, fatidje, i te toujou la e ki pa jen dekouraje. Adan la rel chime la vi mwen, men jwen an ti mi se ki pa te bwizen pale pou nou pe kompon kon nou. A dans la rèl chimè la vi mwen, mwen jwenn an nom doubout, an nom jok, an nom kouraje, an nom ki te ni an pil nan mou ba tout moun. Mersi misi maslen, mersi an lo, mersi an chay, pas mwen jwenn nou a dans la rèl chimè la vi mwen. Ok, this next and last tribute is from a granddaughter, Kitania Jean-Louis. When I was born, you were there. When I start working, you are. When I start working, When I was born, you were there. When I started walking, you were there to prevent me from falling. You taught me how to walk step by step every day. While I was growing, you always gave me good advice. Angry or not, 
it didn't matter. I would step, still walk, still take heed to your advice. Dada, in dad, in bad, dada, in bad times, fearful, fearful times, lonely times, you never left my side and you taught me that you will always be there for me. But now you are sleeping in the, in the Lord. I miss you, but I know I'll see you again, my best friend. I know we will meet again so that you can pull my cheese the way you used to. I want to say thanks for being the best grandfather this world can ever have. My love for you will never end. See you on, the, on that resurrection morning, bestie. I love you. like uh, hello it's like the first person who tributed either she saw my reading or I saw her this is such a man that Arthur was I have known Mr. Arthur from a teenager a very quiet and unassuming person a man with a big heart with lots of love for his wife and children. I've never ever saw this man vex, always with a welcoming smile to all of Jal's family, who were always welcome at his home with open arms. During vacation, Sonita, Jeannie, Brenda, Lona, who is now deceased, Celia, and there are so many others, I can't name them all at a time, were always at Millet. They were, they were having the time of their life, except going to Kai Park, which, was, which they dreaded, especially when it rained. A man who accepted an, an additional three children, who was his wife's grandnieces and nephew, without asking any question, and raised them as his own, was always willing to make sure that the bex was done so that everyone was able to have two. Even though his sickness, even through his sickness, he was warm and loving in spite of his suffering. A good man has left us. May he rest in perfect peace as he, <sighs> as he awaits the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sweet be your rest, Mr. Arthur gone but never will be forgotten uh, good day to all I don't think I need a paper to tell you how close Afa was with us raising us as young children we used to go up to Millet and I can tell you that's the first marathon I did from Kaipak to Millet um, to Tetshime when I saw a boa constrict a boa vibrant and we were in garden I can remember that dashing, that, that place where she had the dashing and the boa was on top of the tree. That's the first marathon I've ever run from um, Kaipak to Tetshime. And uh, I can tell you this bond, that connection stayed up to now. When Afa call, or if I call, Afa would say, Ban pale by famwe. And Jal would say, Ban pale by nomwe. So we exchange. My husband is Jal's husband, and I am Jal's, uh, Arthur's um, wife. So, uh, from his sickness to death, I was always there. From a young girl 
raising up with Corinne and all around, and all the people. I can still remember faces at Techime. But now, we just have to say goodbye.
Just inside So hold on My child Joy comes in the morning Yes Weeping Only last For the night Hold on my child, joy comes in the morning. The darkest hour means dawn is just inside. Oh, the darkest hour means dawn. Just inside, just inside. Hold on. A man who showed a man who showed unconditional love to me and raised me from the age of one, my dada. Laughter was our therapy around dada. He was always the star of every action movie he watched. He never came home without something for his children from the garden. Coconut jelly, avocado and plantain were my favorite. He made the best cucumber salad for breakfast and never forget, forgot to save me mine, even if I was asleep. No one, no one danced better than the two of us on the dance floor at every wedding we attended. It was never too much for Dara to stop his gardening to get us fruits to eat while we spent all day playing in the garden. I was, and still am deathly terrified of worms. And during our long jejeune in the garden, after eating our belly full and it was time to poop, Dada had to dig a hole for each of, his, each of us children, about six of us, to poop. But for me alone, he had to dig another six holes, because each hole he dug and I saw a worm, he would never force me to poop in it. <laughs> he just dug another and another and another until he found one without a worm. He was always very patient with us. A lifetime of memories, too numerous to mention, gone in a second. Dada will always be remembered for his, lo for his love and laughter. So long, Blue Eagle. Thank you very much. At uh, this time, I invite you to give your attention to Pastor Travis Behrens. He's from, he's the pastor for the Sufra district. So at this time, Pastor Behrens.
Good afternoon, everybody. Of course, on behalf of uh, the administrators of the Millet Seventh-day Adventist Church, its pastor, Pastor Kenneth Rigobert, the eldership, and of course, the entire membership at large, I would like to stand in the capacity here to extend heartfelt condolences to the entire family. Of course, um, Pastor Rigobert will have loved to be here, but he is unable to. Pastor Philip would have loved to have been here, but he, again, was unable to. So then, uh, I stand in the gap for two great men of God this afternoon. So for the next two minutes, allow me to speak to you from the Word of God. Let us pray. Father God, I speak, but speak through me. In Jesus' name, amen. Death has never been an easy journey. Irrespective of how long death has been around, we as human beings, we've never come to terms with the fact that death will come one day or another. You see, brothers and sisters, friends of mine, uh, death was never supposed to be part of our reality. Death was never supposed to be part uh, of God's plan for the human race. Uh, but along the journey of life, according to the people, uh, life happened where uh, the devil himself stepped into our space and our time. Uh, the devil himself stepped in and he caused death. Death to become part of this reality. Of course, from the moment it happened, God, because of his love, he declared it from the very inception that God one day would send his only begotten son that whomsoever believeth in him will not perish but have everlasting life. You see from the moment, friends of mine, uh, that death stepped in, uh, God gave the assurance uh, that no matter how, uh, no matter how hard uh, death will come, uh, even God's power is greater and better than death itself. You see the passage that Paul wrote to the Thessalonians, which we have before us is ever true. Paul says in 1 Thessalonians um, chapter 5 and verse chapter 4 and verse 13 but I would not have you to be ignorant my brethren concerning those who have fallen asleep um, lest you sorrow as those with no hope Paul may I add uh, was not indicating that one should not cry Paul was not indicating uh, that one will not feel hurt. Uh, Paul was simply saying uh, in the midst of the hurt, uh, in the midst of the pain, uh, in the midst of the sorrow. Hello brothers and sisters. Uh, remember that the power of life and death uh, lies in the hands uh, of the king of kings and the lord of lords. When Paul spoke, Paul spoke about hope. Paul said, let me say something here. I want you to understand that the belief in Christ is not Tim Tim Boishez, but the belief in Christ is one which gives hope and a bright future. It is then that I understand as I listen to the tributes, as I listen to your crying, as I listened to the many good things that you said about Brother Arthur, I realized that this man indeed was a man who was loved. I realized that this man was a man who had a good heart. I realized that this man had a love for people, for his children, for his community. That see Jean Martinique for me, sa de son is sia hodia. Ikadi mwe dat nom sa seti a bon nom. An zie for me, an zie komini, ep an zie jean yosim. 
It informs me, brothers and sisters, uh, that a soldier has fallen, uh, a husband has fallen, uh, a father has fallen, uh, a giant has fallen. Uh, but in the midst of it all, uh, I just came by to say, hold on, uh, Christ is coming soon. I just came by to say, hold on, uh, because Jesus Christ, uh, who is the King of Kings uh, and the Lord of Lords, uh, Jesus Christ uh, is coming again. Uh, and since Jesus is coming again, uh, we ought to remain hopeful and trusting, uh, for He is King, He is Lord, uh, He is Redeemer, He is Sustainer, and He is the Giver of everlasting life. Um, I've realized as a young man that there is one life to live. And with that one life to live, I've recognized that life at the end is what you make it, brothers and sisters. Life is what you make it. We have a decision to be a blessing in the lives of others uh, or to be a curse in the lives of others. Uh, we ought to be mindful uh, that our lives on a daily basis uh, should be in connection not just with God uh, but in connection with our brothers and our sisters. Uh, there are people who pray every day but do not have a good relationship with others. Uh, As I was saying, I recognize that uh, life is lived only once. And life is what you make it, brothers and sisters. Uh, I have recognized uh, that God has called every man. Uh, and this is why the Bible says uh, that every man uh, must stand uh, before the judgment seat uh, of the Most High God. Uh, and that's why the saying is true. Sao, sao fair. Sao plate. Manyao fe kushun. Hot sav baila, brethren. Hot sav baila. But let me help you understand it. Uh, what it means in the biblical sense is this. Uh, if you did wickedness in this life, uh, you will never inherit eternal life. Uh, if you backbite people uh, and tear people down uh, and destroy the lives of people uh, and do all sorts of zeng zeng uh, to break down people, uh, you will never enter eternal life. Uh. There are people, brothers and sisters, uh, friends of mine, uh, they live their lives to destroy the lives of people. I'm glad brother Arthur was not that way. There are people who live their lives uh, to destroy other people, uh, yet still they want to sing uh, when we all get to heaven. Uh, yet still they want to sing uh, when the role is called up yonder. Yet still they want to sing uh, what a friend uh, we have in Jesus. Uh, if you are not friends with anyone on earth, uh, how in the world can Jesus be your friend? Um, We got to stop the hypocrisy. We got to stop the backbiting. We got to stop the foolish living and recognize it is time to connect with God. You know, there are people. Jalousy 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 Ka detui ep chwe wilasyon fomi ya. Ka detui ep, ep, ep ka kwaze ya. Wilasyon jan. Anti bay ou hen pe yo. Yo ha jalou. Jealousy I say ya. It is rampant. Not just in Ancelorea. But in Mileta. And in Rozo. And in Suthrea. Let me say here today. We must repent. And surrender to God. You see, when uh, 
when God through Paul said Christ is coming a second time what he was really saying is this those persons who prepare to meet the Lord they are the ones who will have that face-to-face -face encounter with Jesus my the Bible says uh, on that day they will say uh, Lord this is my God uh, they will say Lord this is my God uh, we have waited for you man we went through hardships uh, but we trusted in you uh, persons tried to destroy us uh, but we held on to you uh, persons said all sorts of nasty things about us uh, but Lord we held on to you uh, then I remembered the word uh, greater is he that is Brothers and sisters, I've recognized uh, that if there is ever a need to hold steadfast to the Lord, uh, it is now. You see, when Christ comes a second time, the Bible says he will come with a, a shout. The Bible says Jesus will come uh, with a shout, uh, with the sound uh, of a trumpet. Uh, and some persons try denying this uh, and saying secret, secret, secret. But have you ever heard a sound of a trumpet that is quiet or secret? Man, when Jesus comes, the Bible says that the, that the dead in Christ shall rise first. You can put brother Arthur 10 feet deeper. When Jesus comes, uh, he will rise first. Uh, let me say something here. Uh, there is VIP treatment uh, for those uh, who die in Jesus. Uh, let me say something here. Uh, some people fly at night, uh, but my time to fly uh, is when Jesus comes. We are yeah. You hear them sometimes? All sorts of strange noises on your house. Yeah. And then when you're ready, when when you're ready to go and do your work, it's then that they're trying and sleep. People are nasty, dirty-minded, and wicked. This is why our trust must be only in Jesus. Uh, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills uh, from whence cometh my help. Uh, my help cometh from the Lord, uh, the Lord who made the heavens uh, and the earth. Uh, can I say to someone uh, that no weapon uh, that is formed against you shall prosper? Those who trust in the Lord, uh, they shall be the head uh, and not the tail. Uh, they shall be first uh, and not last uh, they shall be above uh, and not beneath uh, I say if God be for you then who can be against you as I come to a close as I come to a close the Bible says that when, when Christ comes besides the dead in Christ rising first it says, then we, sister, who are alive and remain. Elder, elder, we who are alive and remain, we shall be caught up to meet them in the air. Elder, we have no broom, but we're flying on that day. Elder, we have no basin of water, but we're flying on that day. Elder, the Bible says uh, that we shall be caught up uh, to meet them in the air. Can I say to someone today, uh, the arthritis uh, won't keep you down. Uh, can I say that the one leg uh, won't keep you down? Uh, the mal door and the mal theater. When Jesus comes, uh, he will make all things new. Look at me, sis. Look at me. You have the walking stick today, but you keep trusting in Jesus for the sweet day is coming in the sweet uh, Beulah land. Since the sweet day is coming uh, in the new Jerusalem uh, up ahead, uh, just over yonder, there is a promised land. Uh, but let me say something to you. It is not just the earth uh, that will be made new, but your body will also be made new. Before I take the sermon to a close, just put the pastor at the walking stickler. 
Ma, ma avó lei na envia menê. You know, you know, some persons like my sister, they can't walk if they don't have the extra support. And let me tell you why this is. Yes, it is a result of age. Yes, it's a result of her getting older. But it's a main result of SIN called sin. That's why when Jesus comes, uh, the Bible says uh, that there will be no more sorrow. There will be no more crying. Uh, there will be no more pain. Uh, for the former things uh, are passed away. But I can pass here. Let me say something here. Uh, even the walking sticker will pass away. Uh, my sister will have no need for the walking sticker. Because the power of God uh, will be a strength. Uh, the power of God uh, will be a sustenance. Uh, the power of God will renew. Uh. My, if you're sitting here and you've not yet given Jesus a chance in your life, I'm saying to you, do it today. There is nothing sweeter and better than surrendering your all to God. Brother Arthur is resting in the Lord. And that's why the Bible says, on that day, the dead in Christ will rise first. My, when brother Arthur gets up, he will need no tank. He will need no oxygen. Are you hearing the pastor? He will need no additional stuff attached to him. He will be so new. He will be so well. He will be so whole. And the Bible says we shall be caught up together. So Caesar, yes, I understand the crying. But on that day, you will connect with Arthur in a way you've never connected before. Let me say here, brothers and sisters, that the best thing which will ever happen to the human race is to enter into the eternal kingdom of God. I pray that while my sister still uses a walking stick on earth, that says one day I will not be the one taking it from you, but the Lord one day will be the one to take it from you and cast it into the hell of fire. You may be here and you may be sick in your body, you may be here, but you may be blind or half blind. You may be here, but you are aging and you're just waiting for your appointment with death. I'm saying don't face that appointment alone. Face it uh, with Jesus. May God bless you. May God comfort you. May God sustain you. For he is with you through the end. May I just pray for you. Lord... Comfort this broken, hurting family. I pray God that your words spoken here will be comfort to them. I pray God that those who have not surrendered to you, that today they will surrender their all to you. And hold us, Lord, that when you return the second time, we will enter into your eternal kingdom. Thank you, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. amen and amen. Of course, at this time, I invite those signing the register, the witnesses, to join me to the back, office to my right, your left. During this time, we will have a special song by Versha Charles Kim. And of course, while she's doing that special song, we will be viewing the life in photos from the screen.
Someday we will know and we will ask him Why he had to go We live and die We laugh and we cry We must take away the pain Before we can begin to live again So let it start, my friends, let it start Let the tears come rolling from your heart And when you need a light In the lonely night We'll carry you like a fire in our hearts We'll carry you like a fire in our hearts There is a river Flowing to the sea And we will be with you Throughout eternity But we that remain Need you here again We'll hold you in our memories And begin to let the shadows disappear So let it start, my friends, let it start Let the love come rolling from your heart And when you need a light In the lonely night Carry him like a fire in your heart of gratitude by VJ Charles. Family is not only defined by blood relatives, but by those who have been there through the good times and the bad times. On behalf of our entire beloved family, I would like to say a special, special and heartfelt thank you to every single one of you here today. I thank those who are online lending their support. I like to thank you who are, who are here to grace us with your presence. I like to thank those who made the every effort to attend but were not able to be here today. I like to especially thank you for those 
who have been working behind the scenes, like our cooks, chefs, hairstylists, barbers, seamstress, masons, and carpenters, our drivers, and our planners. I know I have forgotten to mention many others, so please excuse us because we are not able to clearly think at this time. However, a huge thank you to whoever you are. A meal of appreci appreci appreciation has been prepared following the burial, so please feel free to sup with us while we also remember to adhere to COVID precautions, including social distancing, hand washing, and wearing of masks as best as possible. Words are not great. Words are not enough to express our gratitude. Again, thank you. Shall we stand as I do the benediction? And after the benediction, we're going to have the recessional hymn by Dalla Pierre and Omari Alexander. And whilst we're going out on the recessional hymn, the pastor and I, then the families, first, I'm um, second, and then afterwards the congregation. Shall we stand as we pray? If our heads bow and our eyes close, most kind and loving Father, you are the creator of the heavens and the earth. And we give you thanks and praise, dear God, for life, dear Father. We thank you, dear God, for the opportunity you have given unto us as we can proceed with this ceremony. You have been there with us, dear Father. And as we depart from this point to the graveside, dear Father, we ask of you to guide us, protect us. And may your spirit continue be with us, dear God, and also with the Masley family as they continue seeking for strength in you. Bless and keep us always, and may we be ready when you come the second time, I pray in Jesus' name. Of troubles I've had much more than enough Many a days my path seems rough Many a days I wondered what to do and Then I called to my Lord in prayer And he assured me just what to do Whatever may come my way, he'll see me through In the arms of sweet deliverance, I'm gonna lay my heavy burdens down, and with my Lord, I'll abide. And when I last my traveling days are gone, I'm in the land somewhere beyond the sun, in the arms of sweet deliverance. In the arms of sweet deliverance, I will rest Sounds it. 
again And I'll rise up High like the waves I'll rise up Spider of the ache I'll rise up And I'll do it a thousand times again For you Going home, going home, I'm a-going home. There's no break, there's no end, just a
feeling that had been delayed has now been realized. No one's in a hurry. There's no schedule to keep. We're all enjoying Jesus, just sitting at His feet. If you could see me now. of gold If you could see me now I'm standing tall and whole If you could see me now You know I'd seen His face If you could see me now You know the pains He raised You wouldn't want me to ever leave this place If you could only see me now My light and temporary trials see me now If you could only see me If Tomorrow Starts Without Me by David Romano Possibly When tomorrow starts without me And I'm not there to see If the sun should rise and find your eyes All filled with tears for me I wish so much you wouldn't cry The way you did today While thinking of the many things 
we didn't get to say. I know how much you love me, as much as I love you. And each time that you think of me, I know you'll miss me too. But when tomorrow starts without me, please try to understand that an angel came and called my name and took me by the hand and said my place was ready in heaven far above and that I'd have to leave behind all those I dearly love. But as I turned to walk away, a tear fell from my eye. For all my life I'd always thought I didn't want to die. I had so much to live for, so much left yet to do. It seemed almost impossible that I was leaving you. I thought of all the yesterdays, the good ones and the bad. I thought of all the love we shared and all the fun we had. If I could relive yesterday, just even for a while, I'd say goodbye and kiss you and maybe see you smile. But then I fully realized that this could never be. For emptiness and memories would take the place of me. And when I thought of wounded things I might miss come tomorrow, I thought of you. And when I did, my heart was filled with sorrow. And when I walked through heaven's gates, I felt so much at home. When God looked down and smiled at me from his great golden throne, he said, this is eternity.
Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed.
almost through It's cause I'm just a day closer I'm just a day closer I'm just a day closer To you
for the sun, the bringer of day. He carries the light of the Lord in his rays, the moon and the stars who light up the way unto your
going home, going home. I'm a going home. Quiet like some still day. I'm just going home. It's not far, just close by, through an open They're expecting me Father's waiting to Lots of folk gather there All the friends I knew dreams all done shadows gone break of day real life just begun there's no break there's no end just a living on wide awake with a smile going on and on going home go Just going home It's not far Just close by Through an open door I'm just going If Tomorrow Starts Without Me By David Romano Possibly When tomorrow starts without me And I'm not there to see If the sun should rise and find your eyes All filled with tears for me I wish so much you wouldn't cry The way you did today While thinking of the many things We didn't get to say I know how much you love me, as much as I love you. And each time that you think of me, I know you'll miss me too. But when tomorrow starts without me, please try to understand that an angel came and called my name and took me by the hand and said my place was ready in heaven far above and that I'd have to leave behind all those I dearly love. But as I turned to walk away, a tear fell from my eye, for all my life I'd always thought 
I didn't want to die. I had so much to live for, so much left yet to do. It seemed almost impossible that I was leaving you. I thought of all the yesterdays, the good ones and the bad. I thought of all the love we shared and all the fun we had. If I could relive yesterday, just even for a while, I'd say goodbye and kiss you, and maybe see you smile. But then I fully realized that this could never be, for emptiness and memories would take the place of me. And when I thought of worldly things I might miss come tomorrow, I thought of you, and when I did, my heart was filled with sorrow. But when I walked through heaven's gates, I felt so much at home. When God looked down and smiled at me from his great golden throne, he said, This is eternity, and all I have promised you. Today your life on earth is past, but here life starts anew. I promise no tomorrow, but today will always last, and since each day is the same, there's no longing for the past. You have been so faithful, so trusting, and so true, though there were times you did some things you knew you shouldn't do. But you have been forgiven, and now at last you're free. So won't you come and take my hand, and share my life with me? So when tomorrow starts without me, don't think we're far apart, for every time you think of me, I'm right here in your heart.